name is Livia Huang. I'm the director of the short film Who Can Predict What Will Move You, showing in Generation 14 Plus short section. The film is about two young boys on their last night together in Brooklyn as they figure out a way to say goodbye. It's perfect. Hi, and welcome to the 34th Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wuttig, and I'm here with director Livia Hong to discuss a film, Who Can Predict What Will Move You? Hi, and welcome to the festival. Hi, happy to be here. <laughs> Well, we're very glad to have you here. Um, and uh, the thing that I uh, found very interesting in the film, especially since uh, sort of in the, in the first half, uh, was that kind of changing dynamic between uh, Nathan and Vincent, the, the main characters, because they, they seem to be sort of an innocent beginning, and then it seems to build up tension, and there's a reconciliation in the end. Um, maybe you can talk a little bit about what your idea behind that sort of curve was. Yeah, I, I thought of them as um, kind of when you're in childhood, you discover someone that seems to understand exactly who you are 100% and how intoxicating that feels. And so you're friends and lovers, but it's kind of just not really discussed what you are because that would seem to make it like less special somehow. And my idea was to have it be their last night together and them being unable to acknowledge how much they mean to each other over the course of the night, basically. Okay. Um, is there a specific idea to where uh, Vincent was going? Does that play a role in the film? I thought that he would be going to college. And okay. maybe Nathan is like one year behind, so it just, they have to say goodbye somehow. Yeah, okay. Um, and there's this clubbing scene sort of in between, which at first glance at least, seems to have sort of no correlation to the, to the story between Vincent and Nathan. Um, what was the idea of, of sort of splicing that, that bit in? I was thinking how like, when you like spend a night together, you, do, you go through all these different places, right? And so I was thinking like you could go to like a karaoke place with your friends and you could be jealous that like you're not spending one-on-one -on -one time with like, your person on their last night, and then they invited all these other people too. So it's supposed to be kind of like a, um, a break where all these external factors come in that intrude into their primary relationship. Exactly. Uh, yeah. For me, that was one strong point of the of the of the narrative as a whole that that was suggested mm -hmm. without actually talking about it in sort of the main narrative. That mm -hmm. was very beautifully done. Um, Maybe you could explain a little bit about, um, there's maybe a background that the, the normal European viewer will not quite get, maybe about the, the Chinese American community in, in Brooklyn or in New York as in, in general. Maybe you could expand a little bit about that. Yeah, so there's these basketball courts in um, the Lower East Side of Manhattan and also in Sunset Park in Brooklyn, New York, where all these Chinese American kids play. And I used to go and just watch them play basketball and they were just so free and so happy. And that was the initial idea for the films. Like what if I followed like two on a night together? Um, so what was special about that is that it's very, um, it's very insular, um, but freeing because all these kids grew up in the same neighborhood together and they're all, they grew up in the same, not even schools, but also like after school activities, all the same like bubble tea places. So it's, it, it felt very special to me and it's something I didn't have access to because I didn't grow up in New York. So I always kind of felt jealous that they had this like built in community. And so it's me also longing for like this place that like people seemingly understand you like intimately. Yeah, okay. Um, and well, there's sort of also this, um, there's at the ending, there's sort of a scene where they both are lying in bed and uh, 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 Vincent is wearing this face mask. Um, what was the significance behind that? I, I, I kind of felt, I mean, I'm sort of metaphorically leaning out the window right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of felt that it was sort of his impression, like uh, Nathan's impression on, on Vincent in a way. So, yeah. 
the, which would kind of uh, play into what you said earlier about acknowledgement, you know, something that you wouldn't have before, but then, then you have. Yeah, I like the idea of the face mask being like so closely conformed to your face, and then, and then he takes it from him and puts it over his own face, and he's like, no, get your own. Like, <laughs> like we can't actually be the same like yeah, anymore. Yeah was what it felt like and also if it felt um, also like true to the fact that like all these like young Asian kids are always doing face masks anyway so it seemed it was like both natural and like nicely emotional metaphorical so I was like yes okay. it's working on every level <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what was the idea behind sort of the the hand play at the end I mean there's a beautiful moment of, of sort of being together there mm -hmm. um, but it seems to be also something else in sort of the movements yeah um, the initial inspiration was um, there's this theorist, Barbara Browning, that does these hand videos. She's also a dancer, and I thought they were very emotional, interesting. So I did an experiment one, and I showed Sammy my reference video that I did with my own hands right before. But in terms of what it's supposed to function in the film, I thought of it, it's clearly one person's hands, right? And so it seemed to me that even though there's like this mutual two hands unfolding, it's still one person mm -hmm. and one person's journey. And so to me, it was kind of like, is it like sad fisting? Yes. Yeah. Is it also like I'm trying to reconcile something within myself? Yes. Okay. So it's basically also comment on, on what they are together, but whether that actually is sort of also an image in each person's mind. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, thank you so much. That I think what is, what was it for me? <laughs> okay. Great. Um, thank you for being here. It was very nice. Thank you for having okay. me. <laughs>